scrapbookers this is Megan and I am back today with a really super fun layout for the scrapbooking store design team so for this one I have let's see one two three four photos but they are all four by six I am cutting them down to about four and a half by four or something like that a little bit over a square image but I have four of them and so I need to come up with a creative way to showcase all four of them so I decide that I'm going to cut them down a little bit smaller so they're about four and a half by three and that does give a little bit extra room, but really not enough to have all four of them going down the, the page, you know, like that. So this is where I decide, hey, I could totally do a Christy thing. And if you don't follow Christy, her name on YouTube is Christy's Beautiful Life. And she's also on Instagram as Christy's Beautiful Life, too. Um, but she oftentimes will use washi tape and make a little flip pocket. And so I channeled my inner Christy and I totally made a flip pocket and I was so excited about it. Now here I'm thinking about, okay, well, I need to make this like pretty. I don't want to have just, you know, the photo writing on the back of the photo. So I am going to put this blue paper on the back here. And I will eventually do some journaling. Um, these photos are from 2011. And it was when we took a family trip down to Salt Lake City, Utah. And we did a ton of stuff down there. We went to this really cool aquarium. And it was basically just in an old Albertsons. It was such an interesting place. And we totally found it on a fluke. We, I think it was like right across the street or either down the street from our hotel. And we had wanted to find something to do when we first got there. And so we were like, hey, let's do this. So we decided we got dinner and then we went and we did this aquarium and it was super, super cool. So here you can see I am, um, at first I was thinking I was just going to use a white background paper, but then I decided to bring in this wood grain from the main kit. And I'm also going to use those two scraps of paper um, behind the photos. Now I'm thinking I need to mat the photos on another piece of paper and also I need to glue down these uh, scraps before I start building too much on top of them. So I'm going to glue those down and I'm going to start embellishing on the photos. So this month's kit came with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And so I am just pulling off some stickers here and there and sticking them on some of the photos. Then I'm going to mat each of the photos on this pink. Now that I have all of the photos matted on the pink paper, I am going to start bringing in. Well, at first I think I thought about adding this floral background, but then it was just too much. I'm going to cut it down here, but in the end, I, I don't think I actually use it. I don't know. Maybe I do use it. Hmm. I've already put away this layout and so I should have grabbed it. Yeah, see, here you go. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't end up using that piece of paper. <laughs> so now here I am bringing in that floral pattern though and I am going to make a couple of banner strips and I'm just gonna put them right here. And this is going to actually end up being a little shelf as Debbie Hodge would call it for the title to sit on. I decide to bring in a scrap little piece of frame and then this cute little leaf from the sticker sheet. Sh sticker sheet, 
Let me pull it. Then from Hannah's stash, I actually brought in some fun thickers and incorporated them into my, my uh, layout. So here I'm gluing down the floral pattern paper banners, and then I'm going to glue down the photos. And after I'm done gluing down the photos, I will move on to the title. And for the title, I use a, um, a word from the sticker sheet that came in the kit. And then I also go to Hannah's stash and I am going to um, use a phrase sticker from her stash that is a black um, puffy sticker. And then I'm going to also use some glitter thickers. So here I'm going to start bringing in the glitter thickers. So at first I'm thinking the title is just going to be aquarium or, you know, cool aquarium or something like that. So I'm putting down the word aquarium and I'm going to realize that it's going to be too long. Even with this small alpha, it's not going to work. So I am going to end up putting it over to the left a little bit and that works really well. But then I'm going to realize, well, I have to open, you know, this flip. And so the A kind of has to be under the photo, but I actually like how it looks. You can still kind of read the word, even with the A being under the photo. Um, you'll see what I mean in a moment here when I change it. So here's where I bring in this other alpha and I'm thinking trip to the aquarium is going to be the title, but then I decide, nope, it has to be summer aquarium trip so that I can incorporate that pretty uh, sticker word from the sticker sheet. So here I am just going to stick down each of these letters and I really, really love how that turns out. Um, I do add uh, some outlining around the letters. I feel like that helps them pop off of the background a little bit better. So I'm going to do that. You can see in that um, above that middle photo, I do put go see. It's a puffy sticker and it's from Hannah's stash. And I thought that was a really cute little embellishment piece. Now I'm thinking about adding this little uh, banner, sticker banner that was on the sticker sheet. I end up not going for it. I just really didn't like the way it looked like it was disconnected from the rest of the layout. So I do bring one of the half uh, scallop circles down to the title and I will put my date, which is June 2011, right under the word trip and right above that half circle sticker. Here I'm going to mess around with this go see sticker and it, yeah, it's just... It is what it is. You kind of sometimes move things around and then you're like, why did I even touch it? Like this sticker that I have there, I was just kind of like, why? I could have just left it there. In the end, I decide to bring it up to the top and I do have a little embellishment cluster up there with that, those banner stickers. I'm going to add part of this banner and that is where you see I realized, oh yeah, the A has to go underneath um, the, the top photo. And then I'm going to add this other banner there. And I think that is almost done. I am going to do some journaling right above the word summer on the wood grain part. And it's just going to be basic journaling. And then if you flip open, um, the photo of Mark and Brennan, then it will, you'll be able to have more journaling on there about how this was such a cool trip for us and totally unplanned, but it was really fun for us to be able to go and see all of these cool animals and just enjoy this nice impromptu trip to a random aquarium. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful scrappy day. Bye. Bye.